Ross kept in touch with Charles Cochran over the years, and Charles agreed to fly from Vancouver to England. Ross, Charles, John, and Raymond met at the famous Dam Buster's Bar in Woodhall Spa. How are you doing, Charles? Good. Good to see you again. Oh, Big John. Hey, Ross. See you again. And Raymond. Good, good to see you, Ross. Good to see you, Ray. Just before you arrived, Ross, we were having a discussion as to the role Bomber Command played during the war. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you realize to the general public, uh, we're doing the same old thing that Hitler did, so that we're just as guilty as he would be. That's right. Yeah, but he started it. It's only pure and simply retaliation. Well, uh, you're not supposed to retaliate. That that that's, well, that makes puts in you the case, in the same level as, as as Hitler in this case. In a case like this, one has to defend one's country. So we just can't let him come over. He's gone through Europe. He's trying well, for us. Well, we don't want him. Isn't that just uh, running away from the issue when we were doing the same thing that he did? No, but no. S somebody got to take the initiative, really, to help finalise the war. That's what they said. Yeah. The, the, the yeah I mean, we've got, to, we've got to bring the war to an end, and uh, I think what Bomber Command did was quite correct, and of course it speeded up the end of the war. Well, I agree, I agree with that, uh, Ray. There are no rules in the war. They started it, and we retaliated it, and we had good reason to retaliate, but because he was butchering people that's, that's all over right. yeah, that's, well, right. that's, that's, that's true. Right. I agree, and I, I, I'm certainly in favor of what we did. And we all, we all were in it for much the same reason. We had to do something to to slow the, the yeah. Hitler and yeah. get rid of him. In fact. That's right. But I'm not too sure it was the right thing to do. What about the raid on Dresden? Do you think that was all right? No. The intelligence officer, as far as I remember, told us there was a panzer unit very near to there and that there was a lot of Russian refugees streaming through there and they wanted us to stop that. Yeah, but why did, why did we bomb Dresden, which is not a military headquarters? Yeah, but did we know that at the time? Did we as air crew know that at the time? I oh, think we didn't. Point. We, didn't have, we didn't have the chance to argue about a target, did we? Well, you had to go there to, That's right. to, to, to I see mean, it. When we, the night we went to Dresden, we didn't know there wasn't going to be any flat, nothing, anything. No, no. It I was a soft touch, yeah. yes, yeah. But, but shouldn't we have done it? Shouldn't we have just backed off and said, well, this is, well, this is not the enemy? Well, that's very debatable. I don't know. What do you think, Ross? Well, I think we did. We we did what we had to do. Uh, we were we were fighting ty a tyrant, and while we were bombing Dresden, they were sending buzz bombs on London, and the buzz bombs weren't aimed on strategic targets like our our, our bombs were aimed. They were uh, uh, aimed on helpless. That's civilians. right. That's, That's right. right. That's my feeling. The raid on Dresden helped to accelerate the end of hostilities, and that in itself saved a lot of lives because other, otherwise uh, we would have lost a lot of allied soldiers going in there well that's a good argument of course and i and i don't i don't hmm. argue with it that, that, that is probably yeah. realistic but that's just one isolated event mm -hmm. uh, we certainly killed a lot of people that didn't have to be killed the people that criticized our bombing raids on Germany are completely detached from the war. They don't, are they completely detached from the reality of war. There are no rules in warfare. You fight and you do what you have to do. And this is what we did. We had a, we had, we were committed to do a job and I think we have uh, achieved our objective. Well, I agree with that all yeah. How do you That's feel? Right. You've been quiet about this. Well, I think we had to do it. Somebody, somewhere along the line, had to stop the German army. I know what we did, bombing there, but that again was retaliation to what they had done to us. I mean, we didn't, we didn't start the bombing, did we? Well, had we not carried the offensive to the enemy, and had we lost the war, what would have been our fate? you got to think of that. What would have been our fate?